and a night that began by looking within ends with a much needed win for Igor Shostakovich, who celebrates for the first time in two weeks. Two won the final in overtime. John Giannone alongside Steve Valaket inside our Delta MSG studios. And Shesterkin can thank Vincent Trocek times two. Scores the tying goal midway through the third. Scores the game winner at 2.03 of overtime. And the Rangers steal two points in Boston. Stolen. Yeah. You know what? Look, it was stolen because of their patience. Their patience to dig in and defend and wait for their opportunities. Trocek was the perfect player for this game because Boston's a pretty greasy team to play against and he likes to be in the trenches and he was really good in overtime because of the way that he was able to lose himself on the back door. The switches, the seams were able to open up because of the flow and the skating that really made Boston not able to adjust as quickly as they would have wanted off of their reads defensively. And a big part of this game to me is the adjustment on the power play by the New York Rangers because where they were once outside stationary and stagnant, they started having these scissor switches and that motion, it almost feels like you're facing an off the rush play in zone on the power play. And that to me was what really changed this game because after six power plays, mm -hmm you can't just run out the same theme. Right. You have to change it up, and they did. They adjusted well. Yeah, so Vincent Trocek equals his goal total from the last two months with two goals in this game as the Rangers win a 2-1. Terrific assist there by Artemi Panarin, his 26th of the season. Rangers win it 2-1 in Boston. We want to remind the Knicks audience, if you're tuning in, to see the Knicks pregame show, Knicks and LA Clippers. That will be on MSG2, and then the Knicks coverage will continue on MSG when we are done here talking about the this Rangers 2-1 victory over the Boston Bruins. A win in Boston in which the Rangers no doubt will be happy coming off of last night's win over the Anaheim Ducks. Let's hear from Mika Zibanejad inside the Rangers dressing room. Another game where just the resilience that you guys showed paid off. Just what can you say about the effort on the back-to-back -to -back tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, uh, we knew, uh, <laughs> we knew this was going to be a tough, tough game. Um, I think it showed um, a game between two really good teams. Um, I thought it was pretty, pretty tight. Uh, not a whole lot, whole lot of uh, dangerous scoring chances, but um, obviously they uh, they basically did the same travel playing the Islanders last night. So um, it was equal for both teams. But I thought it was a it was a good game for both teams, and, and uh, uh, really happy with the the way we uh, finished the game. What's the mentality going into the third period as it gets late there to make sure that you guys get that one? In? Just keep going. I, I thought we uh, um, we were uh, we were creating uh, maybe not the the, the great eight chances all the time, but I thought we, we had some zone time and, and uh, um, we kept pushing. I don't I didn't think we, we uh, let off the gas at all. So um, I think overall a, a really good game for us. What can you say about that from Igor tonight? Yeah, I mean he, he uh, um, you know the 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 quality of, of uh, you know. His game and, and um, you know he's a, he's a top goalie, elite goalie, one of the best goalies in the world, if not the best goalie. So um, you know he, he comes up big, um, gives us a chance to to uh, to tie it up in the third, and, and, and uh, really gives us a chance to win the game. So that's that's uh, was a huge game from him. I could just apologize. I'm apologizing if you've addressed this before, but the power play goal was the fifth power play. Was that something you'd seen in their coverage? that perhaps Vinny could rotate to a different spot? Uh, I mean, yeah, we, 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 uh, we get to take a look at the, the, the power plays that we've had in, um, and, and we talk about it, but it's just one of those. I, I think we've shown all season that we're capable of playing all different positions and kind of rotate and, and get moving and uh, you know, playing, for, playing together for so long and kind of knowing the, each other's ins and outs, that, that helps. So um, just one of those areas when, when uh, Church uh, gets open and, and uh, um, unbelievable finish from him. So that was uh, um, obviously big and we needed that. A lot of chances, um, a lot of power plays tonight, and I, I think that we we were really good on on all of them. We were getting a lot of chances, good looks. Uh, it was just a matter of us staying with it through it through the through the ones that we didn't score um, and just kind of take the positives from it. And we did. We stayed with it, and then we were able to get a big one late. What did you see on that play? Um. Yeah, Mika just. Me and him were in 
different spots. Like I, I was where he usually is, and he kind of gave me an outlet. And then I was trying to get back to my spot, and he made a great play through a couple of legs, and um, I had some time in the slot, so just had to it put did, it home. It didn't seem like they had a whole lot of offense going. I think you guys like had limited to 22 shots, I believe it was. So defensively, <laughs> what did you like about the effort? Yeah, I thought we were getting back to our game defensively, and we were being tough to play against um, through the neutral zone. We limited our turnovers, which was kind of leading to a team's offenses in the last few games. So I was just getting back to our game like we had been earlier in the year. Well, no, I wouldn't say we didn't drop our heads. It's obviously frustrating whenever you don't score on a three-minute power play. Um, but like I said, I thought we did a lot of really good things on, on those power plays earlier in the game, and it was just a matter of us knowing that we were doing the right things. We were getting good looks and continuing to stay with it and do those same things and then just have to bear down on our chances. Thoughts from Vincent Trocek as we welcome you inside the Blue Shirts Bar presented by Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy on game day. John Giannone, Steve Valiquette. We heard Vincent describe that tying goal at 10.50 of the third period. We heard Mika describe it as well. It's really worthy of a closer look because it's just such a pretty play when the Rangers finally convert on their fifth power play. I thought that Mika made me feel like it was an unspoken word that the adjustments just get made when they all recognize it's necessary because they've played together so long and they know when to add motion because they weren't able to get inside or get through. I thought this was the only shot of the game where Swayman looked beat before the puck came off of the stick. He was down and in a bad spot. But Trocek, make no mistake, he receives a great pass because he put himself in position. And one more time, it starts off a face-off. You've got two quarterbacks on the point with Panarin and Fox get the puck into the hands of Mika Zibanejad, and this is where they recognize, and Trocek said, we had to switch and get off the rotation to give them a different look, but also because I wanted to get to my spot. Well, his spot adds a lot of confusion. His skating and his edge work allow him to get there early, and Mika just lays it right in on the tape. You see Swayman down, he's in a compromised position, but a lot of this adds up from great defense in the game, being able to carry it to a point where I get to say to you, never doubted it, you know. <laughs> that's, that's my tag. And that's not true today. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. That, great, that last look, a great look, is uh, from our film room powered by CDW. And the assist from Mika Zibanejad.